We are so excited to bring you a try on for Motive because Motive has been a long time in the making. Um, so it's just really exciting that we have products here and that we're about to launch. Um, you'll hear me say a million times through this video that I'm a large in pretty much everything. Just a reminder, I am 5'11", between 5'11 and 6 foot, and I weigh 195 plus or minus a couple pounds, and I wear a large in everything. I'm 5'4", I weigh like, well, I don't know, take everything today with a grain of salt, but I'm gonna try to compare like right now how things fit versus like how they might have fit before, but it's still pretty similar. I run between a small and a medium just like classically, but everything that I'm gonna show you, aside from just a couple of comparisons of small and medium, is a medium. Like medium's my favorite, that's my jam for this collection. Um, what else? Pricing, we'll try to include just in text. And then I'm going to go over some questions at the very end of the video because I felt like there were some, you know, really common ones that I could hit for you guys. Yeah, and we're going to try on everything, but not every color. So we're just going to throw the other colors that are going to be available up here with what we're trying on. Um, I might so. try on every color. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, wow. All right. Overachiever. <laughs> got you, got you. So go ahead and like this video because you're pumped about Motive starting just like we are. Share this video with someone that needs some new swag because you want to make sure their sizing's on point. Um, yeah. You ready? Yeah. Comment down below your favorite pieces. Let's do this. So I am a pretty much a large in everything. Uh, there are a few things that extra large works better on uh, just based on my body, but in general, I'm a large on everything. I'm 5'11", weigh 195, so it just gives you a frame for that. But these are the joggers in large, so you can see how this fits me. I'm going to try on a medium, so I can show you guys because I, I can also fit into a medium. And then this is the tank. Um, the Versa tank in a large as well. I'm going to try on the different color so that you can see um, because the gray fits a little bit different than the red and the black just because the gray is a heather material. Um, even though they're the exact same material, the blend because of the heather makes it a little bit different. So Derek is like 6'2", weighs 205. Um, so it just kind of gives you an idea. Um, I wear larges in the joggers and I can wear mediums. Um, I wear XL, but I can wear large. Right, and so I'll show you. Essentially, when I step down to a medium, that's what a large would look like on Derek. And then this is a large tank top. Um, in the gray material, I definitely have to wear uh, a large, um, maybe even an extra large would be a little bit more roomy. Whereas the black and um, what Cabernet, Mm -hmm. color um, I would be able to wear a large and that'd be fine just because it's a little bit stretchy it's the same material but with the heather it's not as stretchy um, and then Derek right now is wearing a large in the um, the Cabernet the Cabernet versity versity right and then if he was going to wear the graphic tee or the everyday tee he would prefer an extra large um, and I also wear an extra large in the graphic tee and the everyday tee, but can can wear a large. It's just a lot um, tighter of a fit, but I'll show you that. I really just wanted to show you the difference between Derek and I. Um, Derek is an athlete, so if you turn sideways, you'll see that he definitely has a, a thick butt, those glutes. Um, so I think that's why, you know, the sizing works for him on those things. So just want yeah, to give plus, someone a Plus comparison. I'm a little taller, so the, the XL have a little bit more length for me. Right. I can fit a large, but the large is just going to be a lot tighter on my quads and yeah. calves. So really, I just know a lot of people have a hard time sizing, so I figured um, that. And then if you know Daniel, um, he's what, 5'9"? Five, 5'9", nine? Five, nine, yeah. Yeah, he's like 5'9", and he probably weighs around 175 to 180, um, and he's a medium. So that, that just gives you an example of a, a medium, a large, and an extra large, yeah. um, just to help you size up for this for the men in your life, or if you are a man watching this, or the men in your life, if you are a man watching this, you never know. Every product will have a sizing chart though, and that'll have like inseam measurements, chest measurements, right, and all that. Right, right. So, so, I know a lot of times though, I just buy stuff based on what it looks like on people that I feel like, like are the similar to me. Yeah. yeah, so. Okay. But anyways, just wanted to give you that. <laughs> all right, so now I'm wearing the Cabernet in the Versa tank. This, you'll notice the black and the, the Cabernet are, are stretchier and it because they don't have the heather in them that the gray does. Even though they're made from the same material, that affects the elasticity of the fabric. Um, I'm wearing a large in this. It fits the same, I feel it the same. It just moves a little bit more as far as like, I guess the elasticity of it. So this is the 
um, Cabernet color right here. Identical to the, the gray one as far as cut and everything, but like I said, just a little bit more stretchy. Next, I've thrown on the medium joggers just to show you guys the difference between the large and the medium. So, I mean, it's pretty noticeable. It's a lot tighter on my quads, a lot tighter on my calves, um, you know, probably tighter on my butt. But because this material is so stretchy, it's really not that big of a deal. Like, you don't have to worry about it impeding your, like, movement and motion. So, um, it really depends on how you're going to want your joggers to fit. If you want this, like... Uh, I guess closer to a legging, more compressive, um, not that it's compressive, but just that, that tighter feel, then you're, you're going to want to, I guess, go in the lower size range. And then if you are uh, wanting that baggier um, feel, then you would go to a large. I, I enjoy both medium and large. Um, so it just really depends, I guess, if you're going to have a bunch of stuff in your pocket, because obviously if you have a tighter around your body and you have stuff in your pocket, it's going to bulge out more. Um, I don't really have anything to put in my pocket, so... Magical phone appears, but that'll show you like, see the phone, you'll be able to see it a lot more uh, in the medium because it's so much tighter, but that is a medium on me. Another thing I forgot to mention, but the drawstrings are on the inside. So we actually do have drawstrings. They're just on the inside. Um, like the look, be a little bit cleaner. We have a faux fly on here as well. Uh, to me, it just makes them look more premium uh, and I feel like you can wear it out more than you can just like a cotton jogger. So um, we want them to be athleisure, truly in the gym or for your everyday life. This is our everyday tee in a large. It is going to be the same material as our graphic tees, so they'll size completely the same. Um, but you'll notice that it's like snug on my arms uh, with the cut and the this is the length. This is what I prefer. If I wore an extra large, it would be a little bit looser on my arms, um, but I, I like this fit, so I would wear a large. Um, but this and the uh, everyday, or sorry, the graphic tee are identical materials, so I would wear a large also in them. All right, so this is the Versa tee in the gray, the heather gray. Uh, we also have it in that Cabernet in black color, um, but this is a large, fits me great, exactly how I'd want it. Um, tied on my arms uh, to show off your biceps, um, good length, but this is it. We have minimal branding on all of it, so it's just that logo on the back, but this is your, uh, your tee. So the final thing to talk about is the bomber jacket. This is a large, um, just to show you guys how a large fits. I, like I said, I'm pretty much a large in everything, just straight down. Um, and you know, if you don't know who Daniel is, I guess it's also Austin, our videographer, he is a medium and everything as well. So he just gives you an idea of uh, a body shape that is a medium. But this is the black bomber jacket. Do a little turn. Also put a subtle hexagon print on the inside. It doesn't show well in photos, uh, but if you buy this jacket, you'll notice that there is a really cool uh, print on the inside liner. Um, subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed because we will be doing try on hauls for all of the motive launches. You'll get to see a lot of the stuff here first, um, as well as uh, the sizing from Aubrey and I, uh, and then anyone else we can grab that uh, maybe fits different body styles. Um, but just want to give you guys a little try on haul of uh, these pieces because I love them all. I also wanted to show you guys the graphic tee, even though it's the same material. So it has a logo up here that's not the raised rubber. And then obviously the graphic on the back. But this is a medium shirt. So I just want to show you guys what happens when I went from a large to a medium. You'll see that it's like super tight around my armpits. And then you kind of have like stretching going on across here. And then you'll notice like on my back, it's like real skin tight across my back as well. So I just wanted to show you that um, what well, large fits me, like what I would consider good and XL would be a little bit of a baggier shirt. And then the medium is obviously like medium, super tight. So, um, but that gives you an idea of just the difference between, uh, medium and larges. And then you can figure out large, extra large based on that. All right. So I'm going to go in kind of like reverse order. So basically I'm going to talk about this top layer, this layer, and just kind of like strip down for you and talk about every piece. So we'll end with the joggers. Um, my first, like first and foremost intention with this collection was to be worn all together. So this is my absolute favorite way to wear all the items. I love the bomber over this jacket. 
I especially love kind of like this warmer look. Um, trying to like stay cozy when you're when it's cold outside. So the sleeves of the jacket kind of peek through and then you can of course like zip your bomber over it but I kind of like to leave it open. And then you've got kind of like this three-tone color going on. So this is a nice mauve um, pink bomber. And we got a burgundy jacket and then underneath it's a slightly different shade of a mauve kind of like a dusty rose color but it's just called mauve um so this is how i love to wear it personally that's kind of how we created everything um, so i am going to talk about this burgundy set and show you everything and then i'll do spin arounds in the other colorways so you can kind of like see how it looks on a body um and kind of like see how uh, you can mix and match things this is the Live Bomber. It is a medium. So like I said before, I wear mediums in everything. Um, it definitely gives you some room. I can wear a small. It just is not going to like give me as much room in the belly um, and maybe a little bit less room in the arms and the shoulders. So I'll just turn around for you. But here's the front. we got zipper pockets, um, this rose gold zipper it also has a hexagon um our logo zipper and then a rose gold button which is my favorite because it just adds a little bit of a fun detail here's the back the lining of it just last thing i wanted to say about that was um the lining of it has kind of like this nice faint hexagon print. So we just added, added that in for a little bit extra like style and fun. It's not waterproof or anything. Definitely will collect water. It does have this nice little motive logo in rose gold on the back too. Here are the other two colors, black and white. So the transition jacket and transition jogger and other transition pieces are made with transition fabric. So the reason that I called it transition fabric is because I want it to be trans or I want it to transition from gym to just everyday life. So that's what this fabric is created for. It is absolutely made for working out, but it is comfortable enough to wear at home, um, lounging or just kind of like wearing out and about. Um, so this jacket is obviously intended to be pretty fitted. This is a medium again, and it is a little bit like of a longer style. So keep that in mind. I kind of wanted something that isn't going to like cut off if I put my arms all the way up. So in pre-pregnancy, pre pre I think I would be a small um, but mediums just give me a little bit more room in the arms, in the shoulders, um, in the belly area, and a little bit more length. Uh, my favorite parts about it is obviously this higher neckline so that you can stay super warm. Um, the three panel hood that's not going to like give you a weird like point, I guess, when you put it up. And um, I personally love the thumb holes, but also this pull over cuff. So I know runners or just when you're out for like a walk in the cold, this is perfect. Or let's say you're just like a person that has cold hands. These flip over, you don't need any gloves. You can just go running or keep your hands warm like that. So that's a little piece that I love. I also love this pocket in the background. So it's okay. I, you can fit your phone in it. I'm not a very good catch. Awesome was going to throw me his phone. Um, but it is big enough for your phone. You can put your keys in there. You can put anything that's like precious to you that you want to keep with you on your little jog outside or your workout. It also has zipper pockets. Um, but again, it is supposed to be fitted. Um, you can see it on other different body types on Instagram, people trying it on, or even on our Motive Instagram, just to kind of get the feeling of what it looks like on um, different body types. 
This is the burgundy color of the transition jacket, but here are the other three colors. We have teal, black, and navy blue. transition crop tank so transition crop transition fabric so it's the, still the same fabric very stretchy it's kind of cold to the touch and I would say it's not as like buttery as let's say a Lululemon Align pant but it's got a little bit more like of a slick um, athletic feel still very soft um, and super comfortable so the idea with the crop tank was that you could wear it to the gym absolutely it would uh, you know it would work um but you could also wear it with jeans you could just style it with you know it has minimal branding so it just has this little logo in the back and that's it so you could just wear it for everyday life um obviously being pregnant <laughs> you kind of have to like imagine what it might look like if i didn't have a belly um, but obviously it's very stretchy. This is a medium and the intention was that your bra would kind of like peek through and be cute. It's definitely going to peek through in the back um, just because it is kind of like more of a scoop back. But other than that, it's a pretty simple piece. It's just a, kind of a staple in my mind. Here are the other colors in the crop tank. This one is mauve and then we have white, black, light teal. Tyback Versa tank. So Versa means Versa fabric. So it's just a different fabric. Very flowy, stretchy, but very soft. And I wanted to make sure that it wasn't see-through. This is a size small, I think, and my medium is in the laundry. So I prefer a medium um, just because it gives me a little bit more room for the bump, but I think pre-pregnancy I would have loved a small. I prefer it to be tied just so I get um, a little bit more of like a fitted look. So I'll show you the tie in the back, but I wanted it to have a little bit more coverage so your like boobs aren't hanging out everywhere, um, but also wanted it to be for in the gym and out of the gym to wear at home, very comfy um, for lounging or just like pairing with a cute pair of jeans, that kind of thing. So this is what it looks like open and then you can tie it up as tight as you want in the back. So let me tie it in a knot. I'll show you guys what that looks like with bump. Obviously I think it's pregnancy appropriate so Here's the back. It comes in two other colors. We have a cloud color, which is a little bit of a, like a light gray, and then a powder blue color. transition bra so transition fabric again it has that fabric on the outside layer and the inside layer so there's no mesh or anything which I am a huge fan of because I hate when there's like mesh or itchy stuff inside your bra it just like really bothers me um, I would consider this bra to be a medium support so it's not gonna be super high support unless you like want to size down and have it like super um, constricting but this is actually a small, so I do want to try on the medium next because this is this is the size that I would prefer pre-pregnancy. 
but since I'm a lot bigger now, I prefer a medium now. So I'll show you the difference. Basically what you're gonna get is in a smaller size, it's gonna cut in a little bit more right here and give you maybe some side boob. And then it might not give you as much room in the waistline. Um, otherwise, I would say, the, um, no, I can't say that. I have to cut that off. No, okay. Basically, between small and medium for me, since I'm in between most of the time, the small is just cutting in a little bit more right here than I would like. And then the waistline might not give me as much room as a medium. So again, this is a high or a medium support bra, not super like cleavage-y, <laughs> um, but it's got this nice cross back just to highlight your back on like back day and that kind of thing. It does have built-in, or not built-in, but removable bra pads because I know some people prefer them and some people don't. This bra comes in three other colors. We have black, we have white, and we have light teal. This is the medium bra, so you can see there's just less cutting in right here. I have a little bit more room in the waist, a little bit more room in this area, um, but still, it's a medium support on me. I like the fit of a medium a little bit better right now while I'm a little bit bigger. I want to talk about before I answer questions the transition jogger um, so it is made out of the same fabric transition fabric very stretchy um, very soft and kind of like that cold to the touch uh, none of our pants ever are going to be like non or they're gonna be see-through um, I plan on like they're gonna be swap proof, basically is what I'm saying. I will never release something that is not swap proof. Uh, so just to preface this, we are working on leggings. Right now we just have joggers for this launch, but I really wanna make sure that they are absolutely perfect fit and fabric and just like looking good on all different body types. Um, so that's why we don't have leggings yet, but I promise you we're working on them. Um, as far as length on these joggers, we'll only have one length. Um, I am 5'4", so I pulled them up a little bit just because I like to show a little bit more ankle. Um, they are pretty fitted. These are mediums. I can actually wear a small. Um, they just don't give me as much room in the waistline. Um, and they're going to be a tiny bit longer. Um, as you go up, up in size. So we'll have extra small through extra large of all of our pieces, all the pieces that I showed today. Um, but again, I just prefer medium. Um, if I pull them all the way down, I definitely get some more length. And then because they are so stretchy, I think probably like up to my 5'10 girls, these are gonna be perfectly fine. But beyond that, you might be looking at getting like shorter length on your legs um you can wear them a little bit like low waisted but i would say like without belly i would be kind of like hitting right here on my belly button so i would say a little bit high waisted which is the trend right now um they have a functional drawstring with metal um, tips and then like i said zipper pockets i also wanted to make sure that the pocket wasn't like huge so that you didn't get that really unflattering line um, on your legs and then I kept no pockets in the back just because I think it's just not as flattering so I just wanted like a smooth booty um, what else? Okay. I would say that everything is going to be true to size anything in the transition fabric is going to be nice and stretchy so if you are between sizes like me between like a small and a medium if i want a little bit more room i size up to a medium if i want it to be fitted so like jogger jacket 
bra, a crop tank, then I would get a small if I want more fitted. Um, but right now, mediums are my preference. So hopefully I answered all of your questions, but I plan to go over comments, so please comment below any questions. The other three colors of the joggers are teal, and then we have black, and this is the burgundy, and then we have the, oh my God, navy. I always forget about navy. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, so navy was intended to be like paired with white uh, and then the black, just an all black look, but you could totally pair it with the, the white stuff or the pink or the light teal. And then all the burgundy was meant to go with the pink and the teal was supposed to go with light teal. So you could mix and match that black and um, white set maybe some black with the other colors but that's kind of how we imagined the pieces going together so let's answer questions next question time and this is what happens when you have a try on you just all your laundry goes on your bed so don't mind my laundry um let's answer questions pricing we showed you in this video it's also posted on our instagram sizing charts are also posted on our instagram so you guys can always check those out if you um, feel like you need extra help um with sizing um, we also have a couple influencers that we sent packages to, so they might be able to help you with sizing too. Those are also tagged and posted on my Instagram in my motive highlight. Are we offering plus sizes? Not at this time. Right now we only have extra small through extra large for women and then small through extra large for men. Another question is, am I the sole owner? No. So it's a team of six. We have three couples. So there's Derek and Ashley who live in Houston. Daniel and Jess also live in Houston. And then Brad and I. So all six of us. And that's why we have our hexagon logo. It stands for kind of like all six of us. How are we different from other brands? Um, so I will say we really care about just like high quality stuff. Um, keeping our prices very fair, that's one of my biggest, I guess, um, goals. Um, and then also just having like true athleisure pieces that you can wear in the gym, but pieces that you can definitely wear out of the gym, such as our bomber and our crop tank and our flowy tank. We have designed every single piece, so we actually have a designer, which is pretty rare when you start out with a new brand. Um, most honestly, what happens is most brands, they just like see what a manufacturer overseas can provide to them. Maybe they'll make a couple changes to it, but then they just like slap their logo on it and sell it. Um, but we did not do that. Every single piece is designed by us and we made tons of changes and went back and forth all year long. This has been a year long process. Um, so we are starting out pretty small um, and then hoping to do some really cool stuff in the future. So um, that's that's our plan. We have lots of stuff in the works. Last question is, will we have like a sezzle or afterpay? We will not at this time. Um, as I said, I think like just starting off we are you know, trying to provide as much as possible and then as we grow, uh, hoping to incorporate things like that that make it easier for our um, audience and buyers and that kind of thing. So there's so much to look forward to. I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and hopefully I was pretty informative and honest with you guys. I mean, it is um, my brand, but I have always been honest with you guys and hope to continue that um, and also support other brands. Um, so. Lots to look forward to. Comment below any questions you have so I can answer them for you. It launches on Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, get your party pants on. Like this video, share it with someone who's looking to buy Motive. Um, you're worth it.